south along Nelson Street to Independence Square North, proceeding east, and continue along St. Joseph Road, <coughs> exiting the city. May I highlight that the success of this egress out of the Carnival City depends <coughs> tremendously on the cooperation of the motorists. Please cooperate with law enforcement to ensure that you leave the city safely. I will now hand you over to the Gold Commander, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Earl Gonzalez. Yep. <clears throat> a pleasant good day to each and everyone present. My name is Earl Gonzalez, Gold Commander for the Carnival Celebration 2014. I just want to re re reiterate some of the remarks made by Superintendent Joan Archie and also Steve Ramsubudge. We, the members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, together with our law enforcement agencies, members of the Defense Force, we ensured, we are here to ensure that all persons participating in carnival activities are safe. Starting from tomorrow afternoon at 6 p.m., all persons who are on vacation leave are in the country, they are going to be called out for duty from 6 p.m. tomorrow afternoon until 8 a.m. on Ash Wednesday morning when they can continue their vacation leave, if it so permits. We are going to be, especially around Port Espin, we are mega of activities. We are also going to be at the main venues of most of the major fets and activities tomorrow, the Suka Monarch at the stadium, the Chen Carnival on Saturday, the Panama Finals on Saturday night, Children Carnival on Sunday again, and then the Dimash Class Show, followed by Juve Morning on Carnival Monday starting at 4 a.m. We want to assure the public that they can feel safe. We are going to be there to ensure that their safety is of paramount important to us. We are going to be having persons outside there who will be randomly doing the breathalyzer testing, so we are advising persons if they have to consume alcohol, beverages, that they should do so in moderation, or even have a various destinations. Persons who will be leaving their homes to go to various activities, whether it be carnival activities or maybe to camp out on the seasides, we want to assure those persons that we are going to be having around the clock patrol starting tomorrow at all residential areas, both in and around Port of Spain and out of Port of Spain, all the major uh, residential areas, where persons are likely to leave their premises. We are hoping to that those persons are going to share that information with the police station in their district where they live so that the police officers can, can make periodical checks to ensure that those persons' premises and property remain safe whilst they are away. We want to assure the public and those visitors coming to Trinidad and Tobago that on their way from the airport, they should try and avoid exposing their luggage in open trays. They should have that secured in a trunk. If they should observe a vehicle following them for any considerable length of time, they should pull it to the nearest police station, make a report. If they are close to the proximity of their homes and they realize that unusual following by a motor vehicle, they can bypass their home and go to the closest police station and make a report of that incident so that that matter can be investigated. We want to ensure that everybody is safe. Persons who are playing mass, that they are free from hecklers. In Port of Spain, going up to the savannah in the area of the pitch portion, coming towards like the darker time on Carnival Tuesday from around, let's say six, five, six o'clock, we normally have problems, we'll have persons from the Garden Emergency Branch, who would be actively involved in persons, with persons who want to commit any devious behavior. We are also going to work in close conjunction with the NOC, that's the National Operations Center, where we'll have live viewing of all the activities that are taking place in Port of Spain. The bands that will be competing at the Queen's Park Savannah and other judging points, they will be fitted with GPS. 
so that at any one time, they at the, at the NOC, National Operations Center, will be able in a position to know exactly where each ban is so that they can pass on that information to the relevant authorities to know what they can expect coming into the main judging areas. <coughs> there are four, about four bands, the larger bands, <coughs> hearts, bliss, humor, and tribe. Those bands will be <coughs> more or less be in the area of the National Stadium on Carnival Tuesday between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. We, the members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, together with our brother counterparts and sister counterparts, um, members of the Defense Force, we are going to be in that area to ensure the safety and security of all the persons involved in that actively down there. <coughs> that area is the first time that it is coming lawfully in that they can play their mass at the Jean Pierre Complex on Carnival Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are going to ensure that we do what is absolutely necessary. There was a commitment from those bands that they are going to stay in that area for the duration of that time between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And after that, they would get back to their various band yard and other places where the bands were they left from. So that at the end of the day, we are hoping that they keep their side of the bargain so that we can make Trinidad and Tobago Carnival 2014 a safe one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now open the floor for any questions you may have. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez, you made mention of um, the bands and the giving commitments to stay within uh, the, the, the Soka Drum, the Jean Bear Complex. Carnival Tuesday. Four, Carnival Tuesday, 8 to 4. Give, uh, in the event that they betray that trust, what, what would the TTPS be doing? Well, we are going to, we would try as much as possible to keep the, because that was the, one of the commitments that they made why our Commissioner of Police granted that approval for the mass celebration to be conducted in the GPA complex. So, at the end of the day, we are going to keep our promise. I hope that the band leaders do keep their promise so that if come 2015 and the same um, request is made based on what happened this year, we will know exactly what we are going to do in the year 2015. So you're warning them, basically, behave yourself or nothing next we are, year? We are advising them. We are advising, advising. them. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, has the TTPS, in terms of policing carnival and making it a safe carnival, made any suggestions to the powers that be? Uh, to ban glass bottles, I was, as was recommended two years ago by then Mayor of Port of Spain, um, Louis Leasing. Well, okay, the, we, the most we can do is advise the, pro, the promoters and they who have been those major fets that drinks should be served in plastic ten, um, glasses and as much as possible avoid having retail beverages sold in any glass bottles because we all are aware that those glass bottles can be used as a weapon in the event that there is a dispute between patrons. So no, we advise them. No, that is, that is for FETs and you're advising them for FETs and more than likely they would comply. Yeah. But what about the, the vendors along the, the ban routes that openly sell in glass bottles? Any advice to them? Well, we, we would advise them because there was a meeting with the um, Vendors Association <coughs> and we would advise them that they should avoid selling in any glass bottles. We also want to assure the public that persons wishing to come into the Carnival City, starting from Sunday night, we are going to have checks throughout the city of Port of Spain and its environs to ensure that persons coming into Port of Spain does not come into Port of Spain or anywhere else whatsoever with any type of weapons that can cause death and even harm to persons outside there. Now, you said now you're in the stage of advising Fed promoters and advising vendors. Um, like you have prepared in your mind for next year, given that the bands behave themselves this year, do you see any permanent uh, plans in terms of completely outlawing glass bottles for the carnival period? Mm -hmm. Well, we, are the, we as the police service, we alone cannot do that. There must be legislation, and we are not in control of that, so that the government, who has that sole responsibility with all recommendations, 
they are the persons in the event that those legislation have to be passed in both houses, they are the persons who are entrusted with that responsibility to ensure that that happens. And you have made that recommendation as yet? Well, my, previous, my predecessors would have made that recommendation a couple of years gone by. And this question may be for Ms. Archie. Um, you may mention a soccer artist and whatnot. There was a report of a soccer artist um, exposing himself to, to female juggers in, in South Trinidad, one of them being a, a female police officer. What is the latest with that um, investigation? Has the soccer artist been arrested and brought before the courts? As far as I'm aware, there is no investigation concerning that. As far as I'm aware. <coughs> so he just stripped naked, ran around the place, and free to jump and wave now? I will repeat my answer. As far as I'm aware, there's no investigation with respect to that allegation. But I, I do believe that the previous briefing, Inspector Meister said that the police were looking into the issue and they would make the information public. Well, I am making the information public now. That is, that there's no investigation? No. Okay. All right, um, well, I'll get to my questions now. Um, the issue with the, the National Stadium is so Drome. I'm wondering, was it a case of the police and I guess the defense force as well to having to call out um, more forces to, um, to accommodate the Sugar Drome? Or was it the having to, to stretch the, the forces that you would normally have in the general downtown Port of Spain area and Queen's Park Savannah to accommodate them? What, what exactly did the police have to do? for this additional route and additional venue? OK, um, we had a stakeholders meeting with the members of those non-competent bands. And we have looked at one of their recommendations whereby over 15 of 20,000 masqueraders could be diverted out the actual sanction NCBA route and able to avoid any sort of congestion on the route. So hence the reason why. Um, we decided, TTPS decided, we are going to man the route with police and soldiers. Okay, so, so was it uh, simply a matter of, of taking uh, police and soldiers that would have been in the uh, downtown and Queen's Park and, and, and taking them there at this, this other venue? Well, well, our existing um, police uh, manpower and the availability of the manpower of TTR they are all engaged nationally, not only at the, at the Soka Drome or the Carnival Village, but they are all involved nationally, Trinidad and Tobago, in providing a sense of safety and security. Okay. Um, and you, but you're, you're speaking about the congestion issue, and there was also the statements from some of the, the bands involved saying that even though they're going to Soka Drome, they still want to go on the regular route as well, too. I don't know if you want to comment on that. Well, as the Deputy Commissioner said, they were advised to stick within their commitment. So we are hoping that they stick within their commitment. And we'll see for 2015 how perhaps all the stakeholders <coughs> can work together now to have a sanctioned route where everybody will be involved. Uh, more questions from me. Um, there was a mention of GPS tracking of the bands. I don't know if you just give some detail exactly how is it going to be a, like one truck will have a GPS or how exactly is that going to be implemented? All right, the G GPS system, from what we learned from NCBA, will be put, um, assigned to the trucks. So the tracking system will take place to know exactly where the bands are okay, along the route. OK, and, and you mentioned the five zones that Port of Spain is going to be yeah. just, just give us what those zones are. Yeah. The first zone that will be is bounded by the Queen's Park East, Charlotte Street, on the south, Park Street, and Tragreet Road. On the west, Woodford Street and the Queen's Park Savannah, and an imaginary line across the Queen's Park by the zoo. North and Circular Road, the staging area for that zone, which is zone one, would be Napa. I just want to, to find out and be explicit. Is it that the bands that are going to the Sukhodrome do not have permission to go to the Savannah? Well, they promised us that they are going to stay in that area of Fitzblackman, Damien Street, going down to um, the stadium using the Castro gate entrance, going around the stadium, 
through um, the Gene Pierre complex coming out by um, the gate right in that area there and then going around back to our Peter Avenue and they ensure that they are going to be in that area for the duration of their match. Well, I, we ca I don't say, we, I am not saying that. What I'm saying is that they promised, and because of their promise, they were granted permission by our commissioner of police where, yeah, where they made their um, promises that they are going to stay in that area and they are not going to be involved in the judged positions of which are Arnold Square, Sauke, Broadway, Piccadilly, Queen's Park, Savannah, and those places. What uh, consequences are there for those who break police rules or police instructions well, and do not pass in certain places? Pedestrian, masqueraders, or drivers? Well, there are laws governing there are laws governing Trinidad and Tobago, and once a person is in breach of any one of the laws of Trinidad and Tobago, he or she can be arrested and taken to the competent authority to be matter to be dealt with. Uh, we'll take two more questions. So, um, this part B of his question, so technically it doesn't fall under the two new questions. Um, you made mention that the, you, you hope that the, the bands stay within their respective zones between 8 to 4. Is it that after 4 p.m. they have permission to go back onto the, the, the usual route? They made a promise to our commissioner of police that they are not going to be participating in any one of the judging points. So I don't expect them to be going along the route which is designated for the bands that have taken part in the parade. The route for the bands will be West Central Great Road between Victoria Avenue and Paul Carroll Street, South and Paul Carroll Street between Chagrit Road and Warren Street, South and Anna Street between Warren Street and Arpita Avenue, East and Arpita Avenue from Anna Street onto Park Street, continuing East 